Even though you might have great garden soil in your raised beds like I do, it's important that you come back and amend those raised beds to replace the nutrients because the plants growing in the beds are continuing to take those nutrients up. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to amend your raised bed soil so it keeps getting better season after season. Chances are when you started your raised bed, you gave your plants the best growing environment by adding lots of compost and organic matter to get your plants off to a fast start. And while that's important to be sure, the best soil is when you come back and continue to make amendments and contributions to it with other organic matter and compost too. Think of your raised bed soil like a bank account. The more deposits you make to the account, the healthier your account. Just like if all you do is make withdrawals, well, eventually that catches up with you and your account has no value. Your soil is just like that. The currency of your garden soil is organic matter, mainly compost, but rotted leaves, well-aged poultry manure, composted bark or mulch, and more are great too. Those organic ingredients have nitrogen and carbon and other important nutrients that replenish and fortify soil that's had its nutrients withdrawn by the plants that require them to be productive. So here's what I do. Twice each year, in early spring, a couple of weeks before I plant my summer garden, and again in early fall, just before I plant my cool season garden, I top dress my beds with about an inch of homemade and purchased compost, as well as other composted ingredients, such as shredded leaves, aged mulch, grass clippings, and more. You can even add a purchase source or organically derived nitrogen and other nutrients that are slow release, so they'll be there for the plants when the plants need them too and without the risk of burning due to high nutrient concentrations since they're organic. I add new amendments to the top of my bed while they're empty. It makes it easier to distribute and work lightly into the surface if you even have to take that step. Healthy soil is comprised of lots of networks and systems below ground that are best left undisturbed. That's why when I'm amending my beds, I don't work it deeply into the soil. It's not necessary. The microorganisms and other soil dwelling creatures, especially earthworms, will draw all the amendments down into the soil in due time without disrupting the existing soil network and structure. Once the amendments are added and dispersed, I sow my seeds or add the plant soon after that. But one thing I always do after planting or germination is to add a mulch layer of about two inches over the soil and around the plants. Mulch offers a lot of benefits, but as it relates to the soil amendments, the mulch cover adds a layer of protection from exposure. And the added bonus is that the natural mulch itself becomes its own soil amendment as it breaks down, so you're constantly feeding your soil that way. Now, you can amend your soil at any time of the year, but I've found that just ahead of the growing seasons for me in the spring and the fall is ideal, but the more you continue to improve your soil, the cumulative benefit of that well, it pays big dividends. And we have a lot more information on this subject on our YouTube channel, Joe Gardner TV, and on our website at joegardner.com. So come on over and have a look around. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here really soon.